Chickpeas, 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 punching chickpeas. It looks very wet. Mmm. I think personally, above the sandwich, it's more of a statement, like a love at first sight. <coughs> oh god. <gasps> oh my god, it's so good. What the heck? So when I woke up this morning, I decided to ask myself what activity will bring me the most joy today to do and I've decided that it's going to be trying all new recipes. Andrew woke up with some really intense back pain this morning so I also figured it would be a nice day to treat him to some new gourmet dishes. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna be gourmet, but today I'm challenging myself and I think it's gonna be fun, okay? I'm gonna have a freaking fun ass time. I'm thinking for breakfast, Andrew's been making egg omelets a lot and I've been fomping, fear of missing food. I wanna have a omelet too, but I'm vegan. But that's not gonna stop me. I will make a vegan omelet. There's a silken tofu version. Oh, I'm salivating. Why do you always have to scroll so long to see a freaking recipe? Ew, why are there toes? Telling you meal plans based off of your toe shape? This is criminal. I hate this. I hate the internet. Okay, this is already too complicated, don't. This is why I feel annoyed by following recipes because I'm like, I don't have that. Let's try the minimalist baker simple vegan omelet. Omelet, omelet, omelet. Ooh, this looks pretty straightforward. Next we have lunch time. I remembered this recipe one of my housemates in Shikutsumi made and it was a vegan tuna sandwich. You know that like mushy tuna sandwich filling? She used chickpeas to make it. Wow, why is this day just, am I just making chickpeas today? Chickpea dinner recipe too? Or will I be all chickpeed out? Chickpea sunflower sandwich. Okay, sounds complicated. Chickpea of the sea sounds fun, but there's only 35 reviews. Oh, this is 10 minutes though, so I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to look at this one. Um, all right, this looks pretty straightforward. Pretty awesome. Great. Wow. Okay. Wow. Cool. <sighs> Just checking the minimalist baker recipe just in case since there are 399 reviews on it. No more ads, please. Okay, I can add sunflower and Dijon to the other recipe maybe. So perhaps for this one, we will combine these two recipes. Chickpea for dinner too, since it's already a trend. I haven't made couscous either, so that would be very new to me. Have I made couscous? No, I've made quinoa, but I love couscous. I would really actually love to make a video where I just try your recipes. Please, if you have a family recipe or just a recipe that you've tried, that you've made, created yourself, please email the recipe in detail, preferably with a picture, please with a picture, to dearmishubear at gmail.com. I'm excited actually. I'm kind of really excited for this. I've never made couscous before and I love eggplant, so this is kind of amazing. And I'm so glad that you guys are like doing this with me because it just makes me feel way more excited and just it's less daunting when we're doing this together <laughs> I'm so excited okay I'm gonna make a list of everything we need and let's head to the store hi I found my three recipes are you watching a cooking video yeah he's showing that there's basically a trick that you shouldn't run cold noodles under cold water that you should just cool them with a bit of oil instead because it strips them of the texture and the taste Wow, yeah. when are we gonna segue into a cooking channel? <laughs> <laughs> Is it cold outside? 18 degrees? It's like actual fall weather now. Except for that one spice that I could not pronounce. Ras el Hanout. 
I looked everywhere for Ras El Hanout, but I could not find him, so... Let's begin numero uno. I think I'm just gonna double... Oh yeah, I need to like quadruple this recipe. Maybe even eight ruple it. Octuple. This tiny bag was so expensive, it was literally $13. What is that? Don't look. So it's asking for a quarter cup of chickpea flour, but since that makes one omelet, I want to make like four. Four, okay? Four omelets. So let's just... One cup. We need one cup of chickpea flour, one teaspoon of turmeric, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one, oh my god, and one teaspoon of salt. Black salt, if you have that, I still don't know where to get it. And last but not least, one cup and a third of water. And now we prepare the filling. Some garlic powder because I saw some other recipes flavored it a bit more. <sighs> so to set the veggies aside on a plate, and they want us to season it with some salt and pepper after it's cooked. Well, not after, why not during? Now for the batter, it looks very wet, so I'm like a little bit concerned, but let's see what happens. Medium heat, thin coating of olive oil. We're gonna pour and tilt in a circular motion. Much. I guess only time will tell. While this omelette is cooking, I'm going to shred some of this jalapeno Havarti flavored cheese. I don't think I like jalapeno. I think it'll do. Let's shred her up. Okay, let's see how this omelette is doing. Okay, it smells kind of burnt. You burnt it. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. What you Nothing. It's not fair. Shh. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Definitely need to try a lighter layer. A thinner layer, I mean. We'll do one spoon this time. Maybe one and a half spoon, because that's not... Maybe the burnt one is not that bad. Okay, it's kind of bad. Okay, but we can still try it. The side is way too... This is... No. Yeah, I made it way too thick. Mmm. Ooh, the flavor is very good though. Mmm. Wow. Let's not burn this one now. So far, so good. Let's check the bottom side. Wow. Not burnt. Now we just have to sprinkle some cheese on half of it. Put some veggie. Not bad. Okay, looks pretty legit. One more time. <laughs> I tried to make it look pretty and now it just looks so ugly. Looks don't look, don't look. Okay, okay, okay. Et voila, a masterpiece. It smells really good. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, do you want to see what number one looked like? <laughs> yes, I'd love to. Oh my God. Wow. This is what number two looks like. Wow. And that is number three. This one is gorgeous. Yes. Wow, I'm so impressed. How did you make this? Uh, just, you know, <coughs> pure brilliance. Yeah. And there's some cheese too? Oh yeah, it's oh, jalapeno wow. Havarti. Wow. And this is all vegan. Oh yeah. Cheers, thank you for making this. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Wow, that's seriously so good. Seriously? I was like maybe expecting it to taste a little dry, but no, that's moist and it, there's like tons of spices in it too. It's like a eight and a half or a nine. Like this is really, really good. Yeah, yeah. I'm seriously impressed. All right, we are back 
for lunchtime. So I've decided I'm gonna be doing a mix of the minimalist baker recipe and the simple veganista. Combining recipes seems like it's a more creative option. So apparently we're only mashing about three quarters of the chickpeas, so let's take some out. This is gonna take a while. So I think I might as well just have mashed these together anyways, cause a good quarter of them are definitely not being fully mashed. Never thought I would be spending this day punching chickpeas. It's just so tiring. Okay, and now we add everything else. Why is this recipe a workout, huh? I did not sign up for a workout. We literally have like bottled lemon juice in our fridge. So why am I doing this to myself? Ouch. This lemon juice is making me realize I have cuts on my fingers. Salute. Juice of one lemon. Some zest. Now it's half cup to two third cup of vegan mayo. It's like half a cup. Okay. Half cup of celery. Half cup red onion. One teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of salt, black pepper to taste, two tablespoons of chia seeds for extra omega. Adding some nori sheets for I guess like a seaweed fishy flavor. I don't know. It doesn't even really have that much of a fishy flavor, so I would advise you skip this step. But I've already committed to terrorizing this sheet of nori, so. Now in the minimalist baker recipe, they also use a quarter cup of unsalted sunflower seeds. I'm just gonna put in a little bit because I'm curious what this would taste like. This is not roasted, but oh well. She uses half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We have more, so I'll just use one-ish, I guess. One tablespoon of maple syrup. I don't know how much is left. And two tablespoons of fresh dill. And now we mix. Oh, also they did recommend optional cayenne, so let's try some of that. Let's pop her in. It smells pretty good. Mmm, it's pretty fresh, I like it. That was actually really easy. Dijon mustard is super good in this. Mmm, okay. Yeah, that cayenne aftertaste, it's good. Pretty satisfied with this, so let's toast our artisanal bread. How should we garnish it? What do you think? Will a heart on top of the sandwich or beside the sandwich give us more presentation points? I think personally above the sandwich, it's more of a statement, like a love at first sight. Anyways, I digress. I know it's a little tacky, but we have to play to the taste of the judge. What? Hi. Close your eyes, sit down, close your eyes. I'll okay, put it in front of you. Please open your eyes. Wow. My God, and a little heart too. Wow. So, what's your rating for presentation? Well, I have to give it a 10 for the heart. <laughs> this looks nice. so good. We actually excavated a small hole to plant a dill tree up top, as you can see. Here, I have half of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> This tastes like almost exactly like a tuna sandwich. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow, it's like sour and savory. You have to eat it delicately. You can only hold the side. <laughs> I, I can't even put it in my mouth. It's so funny. It, it really does almost have like a fishy taste. Mm -hmm. How did you achieve that? I would have to credit to the Dijon mustard mm. and the lemon. It's also the pickled onions. You give it that kind of like fishy. I like... did put onions and pickled onions in that one, but mm -hmm. not this one. Mm -hmm. Well, this one tastes much more like fish. Really? Mm -hmm. I would have to rate 
the ease of this recipe to maybe like a nine or a oh, ten really? it because easy. it was so easy to make. You don't have to cook a single thing. It was really, really good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very satisfied. Great job. Thanks. <coughs> oh god. No! Please share. Just got back from a quick little solo park hang and I've just strongly urged Andrew to also go for a little walk because he spent his full day coding away on his screen. So this is a reminder to go take a walk and go outside, breathe some fresh air if you haven't yet already. And while he's out, I'm gonna start preparing our dinner. I'm so excited, I've never made couscous before. Tonight we are making eggplant chickpea tagine. I hope I'm saying that right. It's luscious and hearty, totally plant-based. It can be made ahead as leftovers get even more flavorful as the flavor is time to meld. Have time to meld. We'll be starting with the eggplants. The recipe says we need either two small eggplants or one large one. I'm guessing these are small ones. And the instructions are to quarter the eggplant Cut them into large chunks, around one and a half inches at the widest part. Then we're gonna place them in a bowl, fill it with cool water just enough to cover it and stir in salt. Then we're gonna place a plate over the top to keep the eggplant submerged for 20 minutes before draining and patting it to dry. Preheating oven to 375. Okay, I'm gonna prep everything else now. One onion. I'm gonna use an entire garlic. So here's the thing, realize that tagine actually depicts the clay pot with a lid that you have to be able to bake this stuff in, which I did not have, so I called my good friend Anna and she has generously lent this, which is a little bit small, but hopefully it can work. It just needs to be something oven safe with a lid. This one does not work on stovetop, so I'm just gonna use a regular pan for frying the eggplant. Add in some olive oil, pat these babies down, and get them in there. So we just need to brown these, not necessarily cook them through. Okay, let's see how they're doing. Ooh, looks good. So far, so good. Things are smelling very yummy. I realized after on the website, there's a blend for the Ras El Hanout and it involves coriander, cumin, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, ginger, cardamom, cloves, and peppers. So I'm just gonna use what I have at home out of these and add it to the vegetables. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of cumin, but I'm gonna add an extra one to make up for the Ras El Hanout. This is a blend of coriander, fennel, and cumin. So I'm gonna add some of this as well since it needs coriander. A teaspoon of ground pepper. I do also have some delicious cardamom. So maybe a little bit. <laughs> now we just add in our canned diced tomatoes. Chickpeas. Very excited to see how the raisins will be tasting. And of course we have our one cup of Vegebrus. It did say to add a cinnamon stick. Well, actually, it's just on the ingredients, a cinnamon stick. It doesn't say when to put it, so I'm just gonna guess it's supposed to be for the stew. There you go, little fella. Rest in peace. Okay, so this cannot go into the oven, and this cannot go stovetop. I'm gonna be transferring half of this into here. Have to do it in two batches since it's pretty small, but gotta work with what you got. Oh, what do I do with the cinnamon stick? It has a very unique aroma, so I can't wait to see what this is gonna taste like. Extremely looking forward to it. Now we just have to nestle in the eggplant. That looks pretty nestled to me. Drizzling with a little bit of olive oil. Good luck and have fun. Wait, this level or bottom level? Ah, uh, I don't know. Setting a timer for 20 minutes. 
and let's get this couscous started. Starting with a cup and three quarters of vegetables. One to two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two. <laughs> oh, this is where the cinnamon goes. Oops, that cinnamon stick was supposed to go in here. Maybe I should take it out, or do you think it's used already? Nah, I think it's fine. Well, good thing we did not bake the cinnamon stick. Put this apple jackass back in here. <laughs> Look at his reflection. Okay, I need to stop humanizing the cinnamon stick. Half teaspoon of cumin, half teaspoon of granulated garlic. I don't have it, so here's garlic powder. Half teaspoon of salt or more to taste. This does not look like a lot of stuff. Maybe I should have used a smaller pot. Oh, it said a medium pot. This is obviously, yeah, it's kind of medium large. I'm gonna add a little bit of water because this is just, this pot is too big. It's gonna evaporate. Ugh, it's so hot in this kitchen. Kitchen is just a freaking, a sauna. It's a sauna in here. It's simply a sauna. Do you see this glow? It's just sweat, okay? It's just sweat. You're almost boiling. You're so close. You're just- your edges are just tickling. This is the choice of couscous for the night. The brand is Yoro Delis. We need one and a third cup. One and a half? One and a- one and a half cup. Pot sounds like she is struggling, like she's going to burn on the bottom. So <laughs> let's just put the couscous in. It says one and a half cups, but I don't understand how all of this couscous is supposed to cook with so little water. And now I have to cover it. Shit, I don't have a, I don't have a lid that size. Like that? Oh no, it doesn't cover properly. And now we just let it stand for seven minutes. It smells, it smells kind of burnt. What if I put this pot lid on backwards? Then it could trap more heat. Uh, uh. I don't know if that just let all the heat come out. So maybe that was a terrible idea. I don't know. <laughs> How long do we have for our oven? 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired. We're probably gonna eat at 10. That's fine. It's like Spanish. Southern European time, except I'm in Canada. It's time to flip the couscous. Fluff the couscous. I really hope the couscous is okay. Uh, she is looking a little bit lumpy, but maybe that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, it's fluffing. Let's try it out, shall we? This is definitely cooked through. Oh my god, it's so good! What the heck? I could just eat this plain. Oh! Hello, pot's ready! Honestly, if whatever is going on in the oven does not work, I am like very happy with this couscous. Wow! That was so easy to make. Like, now I can just eat couscous. Mmm! Oh my god, it's so exciting! Oh, let's take out the big boy. Whoa! There she is. We might have to flavor it a bit. <gasps> Oh, she's so cute! Huh? Okay, cutie patootie. Let's try. Oh, yes, I got some raisin. This is the bite we will be trying. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> the chickpea's like so chewy. The celery's crunchy. I mean, it's not bad, like, it's tasty. I'm just wondering if it's supposed to be softer. Whoa. Cool. I've decided that I will be making my couscous into the shape of. A moon. Et voila! Creating a perfect nest for the eggplant and chickpeas to dwell within. And speaking of the eggplant and chickpeas, I've just accepted that it's not gonna look like it is in the photo, but it, it will still be very edible and hopefully delicious. I don't even serve this. Garnishing with a dollop of yogurt vegan of course. This is a vanilla yogurt so I feel like this might taste weird but that's okay. Pinch of chili powder. Dinner is now served, Mishu! Oh, wonderful! Wow. Yeah, this looks awesome. And the moon shape too, beautiful. It represents dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually such a treat to be able to just not, not cook for once and have you do all these exquisite meals so big big thank you. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. Let's eat. Oh. This is definitely a bit more wet than how it's supposed to be, but I think it'll blend nicely with the couscous. What would you rate it on 
the scale of presentation. Well, I really like the moon shapes that you did, as I mentioned. But tajin is not typically like a dish that you know you present beautifully. So I, I, I don't know how to rate it. You just set the bar really high earlier. You want a number rating? Yeah. I'd probably give it a 12 out of 10. My joke to you. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good though. You like it? I really, really good. I just had my first bite. It's quite yummy. Mm. Oh, I love the couscous. I had the couscous plain. The couscous it's is insane. bomb. Insane. I've never ha made couscous before. I've had it. I love it. Yeah. We're but so used to making rice here. I it's just we... so easy to make. Yeah. I thought it was way harder for some reason. The texture of couscous feels so nice in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I really love how this tastes. Give it a 10. It's so good. They were all delicious, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just because this is really hitting the spot right now. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody. Thank you for being here. I just want to thank all of the viewers here who pushed me throughout this day, kept me going, kept me motivated. I can't believe I did three new recipes. I can't believe I read that much. I can't believe my brain math that much. Thank you guys so much. Do you have any messages of goodbye to say? Thank you so much guys. Make sure you end up spending a day cooking for somebody you love. They'll really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, try a new recipe. Why not? Goodbye, Bye, everybody. I love you. Mwah.